Hi, I'm Lena Mitchellick with Sportsman's Warehouse, and I am a professional competitive shooter of 10 years now. And I'm going to introduce you to shotgun shooting, which was my very first love when I got into competitive shooting. And my techniques have definitely changed over the 10 years from what I was taught. Now I've taken a lot of classes and listened to a lot of different instructors and first off I want to let you know that there is no one way to do anything. There is no right answer to shooting or this is the technique. You have to listen to what everyone has to say. Try it out for yourself and make your own opinion. And realize modifying techniques to your body, to your gun, is always going to give you the best result. So. Come at this with an open mind, because what I'm going to show you is definitely odd. So first off, with shotgun shooting, we're going to start with our stance, our feet to ground connection, because that is one of the most important things when it comes to shotgun shooting, or at least the style of shotgun shooting I'm doing, which is rapid fire. Uh, when you're trying to rapid fire anything, recoil management becomes your number one priority, especially with a gun like shotgun. So. Over the years, I went from a traditional stance that looked a lot like what my pistol stance looks like, trying to shoot shotgun that way. And then I had real big goals and I wanted to outshoot people that had about 80 pounds on me. And I had to figure out how to shoot faster than them with the little bit that I had to work with. And what that has become over the years is a stance that is like this. So if I'm pointing directly at the camera. I'm going to keep my body totally sideways. And this is what it looks like. Why I do this is because it helps utilize all of my body mass. So I'm going to break it down from my feet up. First off, I always have what's called positive weight in my feet. So there's three positions of weight in your feet. So you have positive weight in the balls of your feet, neutral, just standing flat-footed and negative. All right, now we're gonna understand recoil. Recoil is always a motion that goes back and up. Every time you pull the trigger, rifle, pistol, shotgun, recoil is a motion that goes back and up. And our job is to try and offset that. So, if I shoot and I have my weight set in my feet, no matter how I choose to stand, and I am in neutral weight, recoil comes, pushes me back to negative, and then if I shoot again, where do I have to go? Nowhere but back. Now, if I start in negative with my weight in my heels and I shoot, recoil comes and pushes me directly back. So the only option we actually have is no matter your stance, that you have your weight in the balls of your feet, or I like to say pointed towards the end of your gun. So, once again, it doesn't matter how my feet are, my weight will always follow the end of my muzzle, no matter where I go, because if I go flat-footed, recoil is gonna knock me right over. So, I stand here with my toe right off the edge of my target, nose over knee. I stand very upright, because I want my bone structure to hold me up. As soon as I bend over, which this is our natural reaction when we're told to get into an aggressive stance is to bend over our knees. If I do that in this stance, now I'm going to be trying to control all of the shotgun recoil with my back muscles. Nobody's back muscles are that strong. Plus, <laughs> bone structure never wears out, so we always want to utilize that. So I keep my shoulders over my hips, over my knees, over my ankles, just kind of chilling. Now, I have my slight lean forward because I want all of my weight to be directly behind my firearm. And I know this is weird, and if you try it at home or when you get to the range, it might feel real awkward, but listen, every time you try something new, it's gonna feel awkward. So you gotta, gotta put in some trial and error and mainly take the ideas behind it. You can always apply that to the technique that you are already using. So we have our feet, cool. Now we're gonna move up to our hands and our arms. Right arm always grips up as high as we can, finger along the edge, but the support hand, I like to run my support hand with my finger pointing along the hand guard because this is a point shoot gun, it's a shotgun. 
I want to point at my targets. Always makes things easier. Another thing you'll notice is that for action target shooting, all of my uh, transitions and targets are on a uh, horizontal plane. Unlike aerial shotgun, where you're going up and down, I'm going this way. So my elbow has to mirror that. Aerial shotgun elbow, action shooter elbow. Because my job is to push and pull my gun. And as soon as I drop my elbow under, I don't have nearly as much strength to do so. Finger along the side, elbow slightly up, not locked. There. Now, where the buttstock makes contact with your shoulder is a very important uh, connection. Obviously, that is the main connection we have with our gun. And one of the fun things about a shotgun is it has no rear sight. Unlike a pistol or a rifle, your face is actually your rear sight on a shotgun. So if you're inconsistently putting your face on this gun, that would be the same as you shooting a pistol and in between each shot, I move your rear sight. It would be almost impossible to have consistency. So consistency comes from where you mount your gun. What's really popular is to talk about the pocket. You know, like if there's a pocket, you gotta put the gun in the pocket. I personally hate the pocket uh, because this is what it would look like if I truly put my shotgun fully in this pocket. It would be all the way down here and I would have to shoot like this. For me, that is remarkably uncomfortable. I'm also looking to the very tops of my glasses. I don't have the use of my peripheral vision uh, and it's remarkably uncomfortable. So. I like to try and keep my head as upright as possible and bring my gun and my shoulder up to my face. Here. You're also going to want to slightly turn your nose and your mouth into your stock instead of rolling your head over to the side. So to keep from doing this, we're going to turn our face slightly in to line that bead up perfectly with our dominant eye. I know it's a lot, but now we're gonna mash it all together. We're gonna find our stance, whatever that may look like. We're gonna make sure that weight is in the balls of our feet and pointed towards our muzzle. So here. Now I'm gonna find my right hand grip. Left hand grip is gonna come. Fingers gonna point along the side. Elbow's gonna stay up to the side. I'm gonna run my gun higher up, bring it up to my face smash my face down on that stock and there we go. Now when you fat smash your face down on your stock, uh, if you do that and this bead is not completely flat and all you see is that little green uh, bead on the end, that means your gun doesn't fit you. Remember how your face is your rear sight? Well your face has to fit a shotgun to have that rear sight in the right position. On this gun, this is a Mossberg JM 940. It comes with a bunch of different shims and spacers for lengths and offset and cast left and right that helps you actually fit the gun to you. Because that is a huge part of shotgun shooting is that your gun actually fits you. So once that happens, hopefully you can apply some of these techniques to your shotgun shooting and see some real improvements.